Evening, y'all. Evening, people. My name is Chris Brown. I'm just gonna look at my channel right now, and to basically review things, see what people want to do, see what people would like to actually have on my channel. I'm gonna put up more of what I would like to personally put on my channel, but I don't mind suggestions as well. Um. This episode is about Clipixel, which is a mental health depot, depot, <laughs> depot, whatever you want to call it. I've been on it for a couple of years now, for like a year or two, two years. I recently changed from other medications that were driving me nuts. And to be honest, I find this medication to be comfortable. It's not like... In terms of mental health, it's comfortable. It, it's not lowering my mental health. It's not hiring my mental health. It's just keeping it how it would be if, if I weren't taking meds. Now, the other meds I was on were devilish. Like literally, because I, I never considered myself schizophrenic to begin with. I considered myself someone that was special to be honest and I was I was dealing with things pretty well and um but I went for an incident where I made a mistake because I was thinking outside of the box and there were snitches Bas I'll tell you what happened I'll tell you what happened basically I was in my room buying some weed and I was thinking about slavery and all that shit and all the white people that killed black people during that time and I was like, you know what? They used to hang people, didn't they? I wonder what that felt like. I wonder if, like, Mandan could just tense up and that break out. Or I wondered bare things. I wondered bare things, man. So I went to test it. I didn't go to kill myself. I went to test it. I went to test what it feels like. And I, I, I had, I had like a ladder and all that stuff, so I couldn't read. Really, I couldn't read really die or anything like that, but. But basically, someone someone called the police. Police came to my door, and I had the rope around my neck, and then they were like, "You're suicidal. Come with us." I was like, I tried to explain what what was going on in my head, but they just said they just said that I was suicidal, and and that was it. That from there on, I've been on mental health in mental health uh, serums and medication since then and that was like 10 years ago like or eight years ago I, was, I don't know i have no idea how many years ago it was anyway this is just a mad video because it's it's me trying to say i don't want the meds i don't need the meds i can cope i'm fine I had I had like three months off the meds and I was doing perfectly well. And then they came into my house, booted down my front door, beat me up, took me to the hospital and injected me again. And I must admit, it ain't made no difference. I feel the same. Just feel the same. But I don't feel... I, actually, the, the best thing about it is that I don't feel a decrease. I don't feel extra, I don't feel sick. And that's that's a good thing, because these things are made to make you feel sick. Risperidone, uh, Pyroperidone, Olanzapine, all these drugs are made, to, are made to make you feel sick. In, internally and mentally. Uh, so, physically and mentally. So, so, your body will go through a lot of changes. Your body will go through hormonal changes, physical changes. Actually, let, let me talk about the side effects of Clipixel. I wrote them down, but it's on my phone, so I can't get to it. And I'm recording on my phone. <coughs> side effects of Clipixel are... I have low sperm count since, since getting Clipixel. I have 
low sexual desire since since Club Pixel. I have two ganglies, one in my right foot, one in my right wrist. I have I bleed I vomit every day. Sometimes blood. I got a bleeding anus. Worse. It doesn't bleed all the time, but it bleeds every now and then because I'm ill. Since the medication makes me ill. Anyway, I got a low white blood white blood cell count as well because the cold is affecting me much more. And the second that I took um, the inject the injection the first time. I came up with a fungal infection around my crotch that I've been living with since then. Even though I've tried to get help for it, it took them ages to help me. They've only really finally started helping me now, like a year later after getting it. <coughs> uh, what else? I don't know. I don't know that I can't remember everything on that list, but that's a long list. It's a long list of things I've been fucked up by just because of the medication. Oh yeah, back pains. A lot of back pains. When the police restrained me, they did magic on me as well. And I know I know that sounds like lunacy, but I know magic, fam. I, I can actually do magic, so it's not it's not that it's not that I 